Good afternoon. Thank you guys for uh, hanging in here at the last last presentation of the day, but it's a good one, so I'm sure you'll uh, have a lot to think about after this. So Metalla Royalty and Streaming, we're a new precious metals royalty company. My name is Brett Heath. I'm the president and CEO. Uh, started this company back last September, uh, or I'm sorry, September of 2016, so a little over, a little under a year and a half in business. In, uh, We've been able to carve out a really interesting strategy in business model, and excited to share it with you guys. Where's the, which one's the clicker here? Which one's the clicker for the? Slides here. Oh, there we go. Okay, so investing in precious metals. What, you know, what is everyone here for today? We're, we're here to make some money. And you know, if you come to a conference like this, you're normally interested in precious metals. And you know, when you're presented with an investment in precious metals outside of gold and silver, or outside of really physical bullion, you've got a few different options. Uh, we've got the exploration, portfolio, development, junior, mid-tier, major. Now, most of the companies here at a conference like this fall into the exploration side. And you know what's interesting to know is that this is an extremely difficult business. And when you look at it just from a probability perspective, less than 1% of all exploration companies actually find a material gold deposit. Let's say a gold deposit that's a million ounces or greater that actually goes into production. So what that means is that, you know, 99 out of 100 companies in this room are going to probably be around the same micro cap level they are next year and the year after and the year after. It's very low odds. This is extremely difficult and it's not making any comment on the people out here because there's a lot of very, very smart individuals, but it's really difficult to make these big material discoveries now. Um, and once they make the discovery, they have to go and drill it, develop it, these are all dilutive things all across the board. So, you know, by the time as an investor, you end up with such a small piece of this producer that it's not really, it's, it doesn't really generate any real return to you and the investor. And that's what we're trying to do. That's what we're trying to do a little bit different here. And the answer is invest in the royalty and streaming companies. Look, it's, it's a model that the smart money has just sat for the last decade. And it's been a model that has produced by far the best returns, not only in the bear markets, but also the bull markets. So um, what makes these companies outperform is they have a much lower cost structure, but they also have a much wider form of diversification. So when you look up here, you know, even the larger producers, even the majors of this space, oftentimes their, their diversification is, is less than 10. Uh, most of the time, you know, only a few mines or even one mine. Um, you know, the, the diversification aspect of it is, is not that exciting. Where a royalty company, um, we don't have to do any of the mining. We don't have to do any of the drilling. We don't have to do all of the expensive studies or operate these complex processing facilities. We own a non-controlling interest and get to collect that metal that they're doing all that work. Now what that does is it allows us to scale our business quite a bit, because we don't have to do all that work, yet we still get the benefits if the company makes a discovery, um, if the company expands production, we still get our pro rata share of the benefits. And there's a number of benefits that are involved um, <clears throat> and it's, it's really just been the best place to put your money. So as a small company, you know, what do you want to look for? You want to look for a company that has a very uh, proven strategy to grow this business. And um, in the last 18 months, which we've been in business, we've closed six transactions. We've deployed a little under 23 million in capital. Uh, we've acquired 18 royalties and streams. So in one year, we've been able to give our investors, our shareholders, exposure to 18 assets um, that are geographically diversified three of which are producing, three development assets and exploration. And we look to continue that. And that's what, that's what gives these companies that type of value. And that just shows you a little timeline 
of what we've been able to execute here. <clears throat> So another thing that drives the premium, again, is the, the geographical diversification of this type of business. When you have 10 different forms of cash, cash flow coming in from different jurisdictions, the premium that you're going to get traded in the market becomes significantly higher because if one thing happens to one asset, it's not going to be as impactful as if you were just operating one or two or three months. Um, and that's important, but obviously safe jurisdictions are also important. So on our producing portfolio, uh, for people that are specifically interested to leverage to silver, um, this wasn't something that we planned, but we're actually 100% leveraged to silver. So we're one of the purest silver plays right now, and most of our silver comes from an uh, asset in Australia. It's the Endeavor Mine, which has been around since 1983. It's had a multi-billion dollar operator, and these are the types of assets that we want. We also have some pretty uh, interesting development assets. The first one to go into production is going to be the Joaquin Royalty. This is a Pan American Silver Royalty. They just allocated $40 million to develop it. So again, this is an asset that's going to bring the company probably one and a half to two million dollars a year for, you know, we have the, the mine plan for the first three years, but it will most likely go a decade or two and we don't have to put up the 40 million, we don't have to build it, and we have an operator, Pan American, that's doing all that work, and we simply collect our portion of the silver that's produced. Um, we also have a development asset on the Hoyle Pond Mine. This is the, one of the top mines of the Porcupine Camp for Gold Corp, and uh, we have an extension royalty on the Timmins West Mine, which is Tahoe Resources, also up in Timmins. So great jurisdictions um, that will drive premium for our stock later. And <clears throat> the exploration portfolio, it's not something that we are focused on, but we oftentimes come across some really interesting assets. And these are the types of, of royalties that can be huge out of the money lottery ticket wins. Um, you know, the best reference on this is, you know, Franco when they paid $2 million for the royalties in the Carlin trend, it ended up being gold strike. And out of that $2 million investment, a billion dollars in cash they've taken in since that started. And it's still one of their highest paying royalties today. So it just shows you the scale of this type of business and why it's really the preferred method. Um, we have a fantastic team, fantastic board from the technical side, from a capital markets perspective, um, from a back end office CFO. Uh, you know, really quickly, one of the best things on the teams of this company is it's one of the highest revenue to employee metrics. The bigger companies in the space, the Franco Nevadas, the Silver Wheatons, these companies do 20 to 25 million in revenue per employee. That's some of the, the highest revenue per employee metrics out of really any other business. You can even look at, you know, Goldman Sachs does about 300,000, um, Google does about 100,000 compared to <clears throat> 24 million. So it's, it's really exceptional and it really shows the model uh, in, in how scalable it is. Um, you know, we've got about a 50 million, mar in between a 50 and 60 million market cap as of today. We're paying a dividend already, 18 months in business. And this year, we will pay out more than our entire GNA in the form of a dividend. And that's something that you really don't see in a space like this. And what we're focused on and why we can do this is our disciplined acquisition approach to assets and how we go about our business. And it allows us to return that capital back to shareholders. Um, and that dividend will be expanded upon the rest of this year as well. Uh, and why invest now? So the opportunity for our company, because we're fairly new, because we're fairly unknown, we're still a little bit under the radar and there's a massive value gap that I think is going to close in the, very, in the next few months, maybe next six months once we move on to the bigger exchange. And as you can see right now as a company, we're doing about six million in operating cash flow. So we're generating about six million in uh, income from our operations, from our streaming operations next year. That'll probably go up to about 8 million and, um, <clears throat> and, and potentially close to 10 as we bring in new transactions. Now, a company that was doing about that same profile of cash flow just got taken out for $310 million about a month ago, Arico Metals. And currently we're about 50 million. So you can look at the the valuations from that. You can look at the bigger guys, we're trading at about six to seven times, uh, and the big guys are trading at about 24. So there's a huge value gap here. Um, and this is if 
metal prices are flat. If metal prices go nowhere, it's still going to be a very good investment, not only from a, a capital appreciation perspective, but also from a yield perspective. And these types of companies are highly levered to a higher metal price. So if, you, if you're interested in getting exposure to precious metals, there's no better way to do it and get paid to wait. And that's Metallic Royalty and Streaming. Thank you guys very much.